Hello everyone, my name is Carl, this is Francis, Kena, Dana, and Alex, and we're NYIT doctoral students of physical therapy, gathered here just to present our findings of our research, which is, which is entitled the uh, utilization of the posture jack in producing upward spinal force generation. The idea of our research proposal stems from observing different tribes where men, women, and children were encountered carrying heavy objects on their head to achieve activities of daily living. Wondering how they were able to maintain proper posture over years of carrying heavy objects on their head was the basis for further analysis. As a result of our questioning, the concept of upward spinal force generation, also known as spinal lengthening, came into play. To make sense of this concept, we turn to the likes of Alexander Technique, Mitzvah Technique, and Yoga for better understanding. Through these techniques, it is imperative that spinal lengthening, or upward spinal force generation, as these words can be used interchangeably, is best described as the upward motion of the spine as the shoulder girdle depresses. All tested subjects were instructed to stand in a constructed wooden apparatus consisting of an adjustable overhead frame with a nagahide cushion on top and a weighing scale, also known as a force transducer, on the bottom. So first thing we're doing is we take initial weight of our subject. So please step on the scale. We take the measurements and record them. Step off the scale, please. And now we're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna lower down the frame. Step on the scale, so we can adjust it properly. We're gonna lower it down just enough for her head to move, just touching the head. Step off the scale. The first exercise would be stepping on the scale and standing nice, straight, and tall. Then we take up the measurement. Okay, step up. Next, next exercise would be framing the door where both of her shoulders is in 90 degrees and pressing down as if she was framing the door. Step on the scale and do the exercise. And then we measure the weight. The lastly, lastly, we're gonna do the posture jack. Okay, I'm gonna put the posture jack on my subject behind you. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the handles to meet at the greater trochanter on one side. And then the other side. Now, Kena, what I want you to do is I want you to push down. And as you push down, I want you to bring yourself up so it's a nice, straight, upward motion. given a two minute rest break between each trial and a five minute rest break between each condition. The average of the trials from each condition were taken and used for statistical analysis. Throughout the study we examined various theories that pronounce the importance of maintaining optimal spinal alignment and the role that posture plays in maintaining an individual's health and wellness. The study resulted in confirmation that the posture jack generated the greatest upward spinal force when compared to the other conditions that were measured. We also concluded that the use of the posture jack will help promote vertical alignment of the spine and help maintain proper body awareness, balance, and thus alleviate stresses placed on the spine. So ending with a coined word by our clinical investigator, Dr. Howard McCoskey, get lifted. Thank you.